hello there my little goldies and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video so today as you can see we're going to be coloring and gabbing today and we're going to be coloring out of flower pot pretties by heather valentin and so we're going to be doing this to kind of knock two things out at once we're going to be coloring for Anne uh, from her colorful life uh, she's having a Heather Valentin color along um, this month in June. And Grace over at Grace's Coloring Corner is also having a color along featuring Crayola products. So we're going to color a picture out of this book um, to fulfill Anne's color along. And we're going to be using the uh, Crayola pencils, just the regular Crayola pencils, some good old Crayolas today. And these are out of my 100 Crayola set. And true confessions here now, um, I got this set some time back, and to be honest, I haven't even really done much with them. I haven't really used them. I think I just swatched out a couple of colors and that's it. Um, I do have a 50 set of Crayolas that I've been using, and some of them are getting a little short, but I thought I would go ahead and give this set a little workout because we have a lot of really, really pretty colors here, and we're gonna go ahead and take advantage of this. So uh, anyway, a uh, couple of housekeeping items. Um, I will link everything in the description section of this video, uh, the, the uh, color pencils as well as the book. So if you want to pick that up from Amazon, you can. I am an Amazon affiliate, so when you shop through any links that I provide, it just uh, the I get just a tiny little commission back and that just goes back in to help support the channel, you know. And uh, so I'll link that in the description section. So if you're interested in that, um, I am coloring with the visual impairment, so that means that I have to get pretty close to my work so that I can see what I am doing. Um, and I try to keep my head out of the way as much as possible. Um, I've got a really nice overhead view, which kind of helps, but just be aware that sometimes you're going to see like, you know, maybe the, the side of my head and stuff, but I try to keep that out of the way as much as possible. It's just something that can't be helped. It's just the, the whole um, matter of the type of visual impairment that I have to deal with. Um, also, I want to say hi to all my new Goldies. Um, I have a bunch of new subscribers that have come to my channel. So hello to everyone who is new and hello to all of my old Goldies who have been here for a while. Now, those of you that are new, the reason I say my little Goldies is because it's just my term of endearment that I have for my viewers and subscribers. It's just a, I'm totally goners over Golden Retrievers. I love, love Golden Retrievers. I have two of them here and I just, they're my favorite dog. And I, I love dogs, but golden retrievers are my all time favorite. And so I call my subscribers, I call, I, I call my subscribers my little goldies. So when you subscribe to my channel, you become a goldie and I am alpha goldie. <laughs> just because I run things over here and, and so forth. Okay, so um, a couple of other things too is thank you to everyone who has done my tag. Um, there's quite a few of these tags going around. Um, Zoe Archer created the, the one with the 10 books that you take on a desert island, which I um, have done a few days ago. And then I created a tag, what five pencils would you take if you were lost in space? So um, thank you to everybody who has done that tag so far. And I still need to do Zoe's other tag, um, her color tube, her color tuber tag, which I will get to probably in the next day or two. Um, I don't think I'll be getting to it today because we have to leave this evening. But um, anyway, I'm, I am going to at least try to get this this color and gab done, you know, and do the first part of this picture. So um, thank you to Zoe for doing the tags and thank you to everyone who um, has done my tag. Okay, so um, I also wanted to thank everybody who participated in the Ann Monera color along um, for the month of May and for the first half for the, for the month of May and for the first half of June. I did a color along featuring the artwork of Ann Monera, who is a coloring book artist, and so we had a really great time with that. That ended on June fifteenth. So thank you to everybody who participated in that. I'm gonna try to. Um, look through all the pictures on the group and, and try to get a slideshow in. I think that would be kind of nice. Um, I have to see how I can do it. I've not really done one before, so I have to try to figure figure that out. Uh, I don't think it'll be that hard. I think the hardest is getting all the pictures and stuff, you know, in there. But I will try to do that. So thank you to everybody who participated in that. And thank you so much, Anne, for um, everything that you did. It was so great to get to know you and um, 
and to participate in, in your events and stuff and you will definitely still be seeing me <laughs> um, so thank you to everybody who participated in that and thank you to Ann Manera for a lovely color along all right so let's go ahead and get to cracking on this um, on this book here so what we're gonna do is we are going to color uh, this picture right here uh, yes this picture right here okay now I have colored a couple of things in here I've had this book for a while now and I'm just I got my color pencils just kind of out in front of me um, I've had this book for quite a while and I have actually colored two pictures in here so I colored this one and then I think I started this one with you guys on camera and then I colored um, another one in here too I colored this one as well and I did some of this on camera with you guys most of it I think I did off um, because I wanted to show you guys like how I just sewed a page and you know so that you could watercolor in it and stuff now both of these pages that I did were were watercolored with like pencil on top of it um, the background is acrylic paint or no 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 I think one of them was just water no I don't, I don't know I forgot what I did I know one of them was watercolor because I used my Albert Durer pencils um, but anyway, the background for both of the pictures was acrylic paint and I showed how I just sewed them. Yeah, I think I did just sew the whole thing because I, I watercolored on both of them. Yes, I did. So I used my Albert or Durer uh, watercolor pencils, I think on this one and then topped it off with polychromos on top. Uh, we have some stickles, acrylic paint for the background. And then this over here, I believe I used some Neo 2s and then just topped it off with pencil and then stickles and then we have an acrylic paint background. But I remember I did a lot of this on camera with you guys because um, I wanted to show how I gessoed the page and, and how to do an acrylic background and stuff. But anyway, we're going to do this picture with some Crayolas. Now, um, what I think I'm gonna do, because as I said, I am coloring with the visual impairment. And so that means you know getting close to the work so I'm gonna be doing like the all the big stuff on camera probably some of the smaller bits and bobs are gonna be done off camera um, just because it's easier for me to do it that way but I also got a request to show how I color hair so I'm gonna I'm not gonna call it a tutorial because I don't think I'm that good you know to call myself a person who is qualified to do a tutorial but I'm just gonna kind of show you how I you know sometimes do hair and um, how you can kind of get it to come out nice and I, I hope by the time I get done with it that it will come out nice sometimes it does sometimes uh, sometimes it needs a little help but we're gonna we're gonna go with the flow and we're gonna just try to um, to um, to make some nice looking hair so anyway um, we're gonna go ahead and start out with the flower pot now normally you see flower pots that are like red or maybe brown or black but because this is my coloring book and I like to do things a little different sometimes, um, we're going to make kind of a um, kind of a purple, purplish, kind of a purple um, flower pot. So um, just because I want to do it that way and because um, because it's my book and that's how we're going to do it. So I'm going to take a dark purple and we're just going to kind of go around the the lines here that she's shown us where things might be a little darker. Okay. And I'm just going to kind of go over some of this right here and then we'll blend in with maybe some some lighter purple and stuff here. So I'm just going to kind of not really trace it, but just kind of kind of go over these lines just a little bit and then we'll blend it in. OK, so same here. And this is my set of Crayola 100 pencils. These are just the regular Crayolas. Now, I also got the Crayola Signature brand pencils and those are nice, too, uh, but these Crayolas, like the regular Crayolas, work very nice in Create Space paper, and um, this is Create Space paper that um, that does uh, that uh, you know th that this book is printed on. So I'm going to just take this, and I have to get a little bit close here. I'm trying to keep my head out of the way, trying to be kind of mindful of it, and I'm just trying to go with sort of a light layer because I, I want to blend but I may have to push down on it a little bit. I sometimes forget that Crayolas are a bit of a harder pencil and that um, you have to kind of press down a little bit. You can layer but you got to have some patience with it. Uh, these Crayolas can sometimes be a little scratchy. Um, you can also do this with like um, super tips, like if you have the Crayola super tips, you can do this with, with um, Crayola super tips. And I'm going to just kind of come up here where I think maybe some shadows and stuff might be on this. 
and just kind of go like maybe under the rim of this flower pot here. A little bit and then we'll add in the we'll add in the uh, lighter colors okay so then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of go along the bottom of this too so how is everybody been doing and what's the weather been like I know here in Illinois at least where I am at it really just hasn't been able to make up its mind what it wants to do it's been just really really crazy um, it was so hot here last week and part of this week I mean it was just so hot and uh, but then it, it started to kind of cool off a bit and um, it started to cool off quite a bit and uh, so what we did last night was we uh, we turned off our air um, we have central air, thank goodness, but we turned off the air because sometimes like when it's cool enough, you know, we like to get some fresh air in here. So we turned off the air last night and then we, um, we've had the windows open and stuff. It rained, like it's been raining here, cats and dogs. Um, we had, uh, we had a pretty good uh, thunderstorm over here the last, what is today, Thursday. We had a pretty good thunderstorm over here like Tuesday night and... It's been, um, it's been just um, humid and muggy, but today, like I said, you know, hasn't really been too bad. It's, it's actually been quite nice. And I feel like these colors are a little similar. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to go in with my darker color and kind of darken this up because I kind of feel like that these colors are a little similar. Um, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is take this slight darker one and just really kind of push it in there. And then I think I'm going to take even a lighter color than this and kind of go like in the middle. But we're just going to kind of push it in there. And I don't really want to burnish it just yet because uh, it's, it's not really what I want to do with it yet. But I have to get enough color in there that we're going to have that contrast. So I'm just going to try to get kind of on these edges here with this darker color. Okay. So I can't promise that this is going to turn out super pretty, but we're going to, you know what, we have fun. We're just going to go with it and, uh, and see what we get. Um, we're just here to play and have some fun. But I, I love, um, I do love these books. I think they are really cute little books. I think they are cute, cute little books. And I think I'm gonna do the same thing on this other side because I want like a darker contrast of this purple right here around the edges. But I really like her books. I think she has such cute, cute little characters. And I have a few of her books. I don't have, two, I think I have maybe five of her books. I have this one, I have flower pot hatchlings, which are, it's kind of like this book, but it's got like little animals in there. Um, rather than like the little girls, it's got cute little animals that kind of hatch out of their eggs. And uh, they're in like the little flower pots and stuff. And uh, yeah, I think I'll just go along this whole bottom here. And they, uh, you know, they, they're little animals and they hatch out of their eggs and they're in the flower pots and stuff and they're just so freaking cute. They really are. They're so cute. Um, and then I've also got Kokeshi dolls. Thank you, Stephanie, for telling me about that book. <laughs> and I've also got um, uh, the pretty parcels and packages or something like that. I've got that one. And then I think I've got like Rory's Seasons or something like that. Seasonal something or other. I forgot what it's called. But this, boy, this, this one purple Crayola just feels so scratchy. It feels so scratchy. But yeah, I think I've got five of her, five, I think I've got like five of her books. Okay. So I think that's pretty good for the real dark parts. And I'm just going to take this one and just kind of go lightly over this. And then just try to blend it in. And then I want to, I'm going to grab like another sort of lighter color than this and go, kind of go more in the middle of this. 
Okay. So when I'm, my attempt is to kind of make it really dark like on the edges and then just kind of go over and then just in the middle just kind of make it look a little bit lighter. I'm trying to think of like maybe where the sun would be shining on it. So how's everybody doing? Oh, I think I did ask that. And what's everybody coloring? I know I always ask that. What's everybody coloring? Um, what, are, what are y'all working on now? And are you reading anything good? I know I always ask that. So I am. I'm actually reading some science fiction. <laughs> I'm reading a, um, I've been reading some science fiction anthologies and it's um, like favorite science fiction stories or science fiction hall of fame or something like that. And it's, it's a lot of them is like these really classic like science fiction short stories. And I've really been enjoying those. I really have. I've been enjoying those. Um, and again, I want to thank all of you new subscribers who have come to my channel. Um, I really hope you enjoy what you see. And welcome, 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 welcome. I hope you are enjoying yourself. Um, I don't know, but I've been feeling just kind of nostalgic lately, like, um, you know, just kind of thinking about, like, what happened, like, over the years and stuff, and, um, I was talking with, um, with Stephanie the other day, you know, this is Stephanie Ray, you guys would remember her from, you know, she does a lot of commenting, like, on my videos and stuff, and she, on, and on other videos and stuff that she watches, but, Anyway, I was talking to Stephanie the other day, and we were just kind of talking about things that have happened in our lives and stuff, and um, I was telling her, you know, like at family get-togethers and stuff, well, I mean, especially at school too, but um, like I was the only one in my family that had like a physical disability, you know, because, you know, I'm visually impaired, and like nobody else really had a, like nobody else in the family really had any kind of profound physical disability or anything, you know, I was, I was the only one. And so whether it was perceived or real, and and I think maybe it, it might have been just a little bit of both, um, I was treated differently, you know, than like the cousins or like other classmates and stuff that were, you know, that were in my, my grade and stuff. And, you know, it, at certain times, I mean, I, I literally, I mean, I, I felt like a freak. I really did. I felt, I felt like a freak. And, you know, when you're, when you're, when you're a kid, <laughs> You know, when you're a kid and you, I think I'm going to put some blue. Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe this purple. I don't want it to. Okay, this hopefully is going to be, well, I don't know. That looks pretty similar. I'm going to try to find like a light, 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 light purple. Um, I'm going to keep talking as I look here. But um, anyway, so I just, I really felt like, um, I really felt like a freak a lot of the times. Like, um especially like, you know, during school or, um, or that kind of thing. And I think maybe, maybe this one here. Okay. Um, because whether it was, was real or perceived and, and I believe, like I said, that it was a little bit of both. Um, but you know, there were just times that I totally felt like a freak. And I remember this one incident and this, this happened at school, but I do remember this one incident that, um, let me see here that, uh, I was in second grade and there we go. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so that hopefully we can see a little bit better. I was zoomed out quite a bit, but anyway, um, I remember when, when, um, I was in, um, second grade and we had this, like every spring we had this, we had this, um, little event and it was, it was like, um, Olympic day. I think that's what we called it was Olympic day. And so it had like, each each of the elementary school classes got to participate in this and it was basically um kind of a day where you spent outside away from doing your schoolwork and stuff you know and it was just kind of something to do and you know once spring started and the weather started to warm up and what it was it was um it was a day where it was filled with like these little 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 events and they you know there was like relay races and there was um, like, uh, meter, well, not meter dashes, but, you know, like sprints, you know, like, um, like that. And 
um, long jump events, you know, like running long jump and standing long jump and all that kind of stuff. There's basketball throws and, and all this kind of stuff. And each of the elementary school classes participated. And I guess, I think the class who won like most events or something got a trophy or, you know, some kind of recognition or something like that. And uh, so anyway, um, each kid, you know, had the, you kind of had like little, little practices or little like, uh, tryouts or something or little, little, um, little tryouts, I guess. And, uh, so the teacher in your class would decide which event you were in. And sometimes you could be in one event or sometimes you could be in two events. And I think we had this going for maybe probably three, three to four years, maybe. I don't remember if we did it by the time I got to fifth grade, but anyway, um, in, in second grade, um, I remember I was devastated because like, I wasn't picked to do any of the events. Now keep in mind, you know, not only am I visually impaired, but I am not athletically inclined. <laughs> but, you know, at that time, you know, and when you're young like that, you don't really think about stuff like that, right? So, okay, so we're getting some nice shading on this little flower pot here. So you don't really think about stuff like that, right? And so I was just, I remember just being devastated because I wasn't picked to, to be in anything. And, and I remember like there was this one kid who, who like he was the best at like five different things that you know that he auditioned for so he had to pick like the two that, that he wanted to be in you know because you could like you can only be in two you know to kind of keep it fair well if they're going to keep it fair you know they should at least let everybody be in something because I was devastated that I didn't get to do anything and um Oh my gosh, like, oh, it just, it, 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 it was very hurtful. It really was. And, you know, and when you're, when you're young like that and, you know, you can't go, well, oh, well, I'm not really that good at athletics, you know, it's okay. You know, cause when you're, when you're young like that, you want to, you want to fit in, you want to be a part of things and you want to, you want to, um, you want to participate and, when you don't get anything to do, you stick out like a sore thumb. And uh, I remember it was just, oh my gosh, it broke my little young seven-year-old heart. It really did. And um, I mean, now, of course, you know, you're a little older and wiser. And uh, like if I traveled back in time, okay, here's, here's my science fiction reading that, you know, that I'm doing here. Um, you can tell that I've been reading some science fiction, <laughs> but, um, if I could travel back in time to that moment, um, you know, if my present day self could travel back in time to that moment and, you know, try to kind of help out my, my, my past self, I would say something like, you know what, um, you don't even really like sports anyway, or you're not going to like sports and, um, you're really not going to be good at that kind of stuff and you're not going to care later on if you're not really good at that kind of stuff. Like I would, I would just say you'd be much happier just going on inside and, and, and reading something, you know, just find something to read. You'll be a lot happier. But of course, you know, that's like almost 40 years later. And, uh, you know, I would just, I would just say, go on and go on inside and read something. And sports are kind of overrated anyway. <laughs> Now, I realize, oh my gosh, like, I realize I'm going to be lynched for this because I know that there's, like, football fans and basketball fans and baseball fans, and I think I said football, right? Um, there's football fans and stuff out there, and so they're going to be like, how could you say that? Well, I apologize for those that I, for those rabid sports fans that I may have offended, um, but in all seriously, in all, in all seriousness, though, um, I'm, I'm not a big sports person and I really don't follow it. Um, when I was a teenager, like I followed, like, um, I followed the Cardinals, you know, the St. Louis Cardinals, because I had, um, my Sunday school teacher, <laughs> he was a big Cubs fan. And, and I, and I think, I think the reason I kind of followed the Cardinals a little bit was because I, I think at the time I liked some of the players. Now, if you were to ask me now, like who they were. I wouldn't be able to tell you because I just, you know, I don't follow it anymore. But um, anyway, so we would always kind of tease each other like and it was so funny because he, um, like I said, he was a Cub fan. You know, he's a rabid Cub fan. And um, so he would always call the Cardinals puke birds. <laughs> and so um, it was just so funny because we would kind of razz each other, you know. But 
you know, after after kind of all that, like after maybe about three years, I just kind of quit following all that. And um, about the only time I really followed that anymore was like when Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa were hitting all those home runs and stuff. And that was like, uh, was that back in the late 90s or early 2000s or something like that was when I followed that. So, um, yeah, but as far as like any other sports and stuff go, like I don't really watch football or like... Um, basketball or anything like that because I have a hard time following it honestly um not that it's really my speed but I honestly have a fart hard fart <laughs> oh my gosh I'm losing it here but I have a hard time following it because um it just it moves so fast that I miss a lot and yeah um me being you know me having the kind of eyesight that I do it just it makes it a little hard um, so about the only thing that I will watch, and this is like when the Olympics roll around, and I'm just kind of going over this just to kind of maybe cover up some of them white pencil lines and to blend it in pretty good. But I will, I'll watch like, um, gymnastics or ice skating or like, um, I like tennis. I'll watch tennis sometimes or the swimming. Um, but other than that, you know, that's about all I will watch. And again, it's not something that I actively seek out. Like if I kind of happen to, if I kind of happen onto it. Or, like, if I look it up and, 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 oh, like, gymnastics is on today, you know, then I'll turn it on and watch it. But um, I don't think I even watched any of the Olympics the last time, winter or summer Olympics, either one of them this last time. Um, so, yeah, I just, I didn't watch any of that. All right, well, there's our flower pot done, I think. I think that turned out pretty cool. You know, we got some nice shading in there. And um, I think I'm going to take... I think I am just going to take the darker purple though and just once again just kind of go over where she's got some of these lines and just kind of maybe add a little bit more detail in there. Um, so it's just not something that I really appreciate. You know, it's not something that I'm into, to be honest. I just, I don't really care for it. Um, so. But I just remember back then, you know, in my seven-year-old little heart, you know, back in second grade, boy, that was like the worst thing that, that was like the worst thing that could have happened. I kid you not. It was, it was not, um, at that time, I thought the world had ended. I really did. I thought the world had ended. <laughs> okay. I think that's, I think that's all I'm going to do with that. I think that's all I'm going to do with that. So I'm going to grab... Um, I think maybe we'll do a couple of the flowers and then maybe, and then I think I'll show you how the, um, how I do the hair. All right, here we go. Let's, let's see, uh, let's try this and see how this is going to work here. So I have to get in a little bit close. So excuse me while I do this. Um, But going back to like what, you know, things that have kind of happened in the past, like um, when I was in the third grade, and I know I've told this story before, but I've ever, you know, since since I actually told that story, it was actually on, on one of my haul videos that I did maybe a couple years ago or last year or something. Um, <laughs> I... Um, <laughs> I've had, uh, I've had quite a few new Goldies join us, so I think what... I'm gonna grab, I still need a darker color for, for some of this. Hmm. Okay, let's try something. But anyway, like I said, I've had, I've had quite a few new Goldies join me since I told this story, but um, when I was in the third grade, we had, um, as part of our homework, we had what was called a math mystery. And these pencils are just kind of getting in my way. I need a case for these things is what I really need. I don't have a case for my Crayolas yet. And that needs to be changed. Okay, so as part of our homework when we were in the third grade was um, we had this, this thing called a math mystery. And this math mystery was, um, it was this, a worksheet and it had these little it was kind of a color by number thing okay and so it had um I don't know if that's part of the 
uh, petals or not. I'm going to color it that way. I'm going to color this like this, and if I have to, I will erase it. Um, it's kind of like a small little bob right there. But anyway, the, um, so part of this homework that we had was called um, a math mystery. And so what it was, it was kind of like a little color by number thing. And so what you had to do was um, there, was a, there were math problems in there that you had to solve. And then whatever answer you came up with, like you used that answer to, you know, to determine what your, what your color was going to be. Meaning, like, let's say um, your two was going to be red, your fours was going to be green, you know, that kind of thing. Okay. So you had to do the math problems first because you had to know where to put your color and what color you had to put where. Well, this teacher that we had really loved to pile on the homework, and it was just, oh my gosh, she loved to pile on the homework. And so, um, <laughs> it took me hours and hours to do, you know, to do homework. And, you know, because my eyesight, the way it is, I was, you know, it's, it's kind of like coloring. I'm a little slower at doing the coloring, and I was a little slower at doing the homework because, you know, just because I was... It, it was not that I was dumb, it was just that it took me a little bit longer to read stuff and it took me a little longer to, you know, just to just to do the homework in general. And so um, when, uh, you know, when we had these math mysteries and, you know, we'd have like spelling and we had all this other stuff to do. Well, these math mysteries kind of became the bane of my existence because they took me so long to do, not only to do the math, but then you had to, you had to color it too. You had to, you know, there were two parts of it. You had to do the math problems and then you had to color it. Well, the coloring, you know, I don't mind. And, and of course, like even, you know, of course now I love to color, but the thing of it was, is that it just took so long to do. And I had so much other homework to do. And I mean, it was just, it was ridiculous. And so I remember one day, one night and um, my parents were gone doing something. And so it was a second cousin, I think she was, that, that we had. And so she was babysitting us that night. And so I was doing this homework, and I just, I remember just feeling so tired, like, oh, I want to get done. I just, I just, I, I cannot wait to get done. And so Mindy, you know, that was her name. She kind of, you know, she felt sorry for me. She really did. She felt sorry for me. And so she's like, she's like, do you want me to, do you want me to color this in for you? I had gotten done with the math and everything. And she's like, do you want me to color this in for you? And by that time I was like, yes, please, you know, please do. So she took the paper and she colored in the little animal thing, you know, that it was. And, uh, <laughs> so I go to class the next day and I mean, hers looked really nice. It looked really, really pretty. You know, she had the, and I, and I colored it in with, you know, I would always color it in with crayons. Well, you know, that's what she did too. You know, she had the crayons and she colored it in for me. So I get to, I get to school the next day and I get busted. And the teacher was like, did you do this math mystery? I'm like, I'm like, yes, Mrs. Midland, I did, I did the math mystery. And she's like, well, you didn't color this, did you? I'm like, well, um, I got a little help. <laughs> and uh, she's like, well, you got to do it over again. And I'm like, but why? She's like, because this isn't your work. And I'm like, but I did the math, you know, which was kind of, you know, the important thing. You know, the, the important part is you did the math. But she made she made me do it all over from start to finish. So the moral of the story, okay, now you're thinking, okay, the moral of the story should be don't let anybody do any part of your homework, right? Well, I'm going to take it one step further <laughs> because that is admirable, but... Um, the moral of the story is that if you're going to have somebody like color your math mystery, <laughs> make sure they have a similar coloring style because like I said, Mindy's, you know, hers looked really, really nice. I mean, it looks so nice and just beautiful. Now, when I color, like I would just totally mash down on those crayons. I, I would just really mash down on them things. And so it was kind of obvious that I didn't color the thing like she could, you know, it wasn't, it didn't take a rocket scientist to figure that out. But, so if you're going to have somebody do your math mystery, make sure that they have a similar coloring style as you because you are gonna get busted otherwise. <laughs> you really will, you will get so busted. 
And I'm going to have to really crank down on these pencils here to kind of get any kind of color variation. Sometimes these, these things are... Sometimes... Sometimes you really got to crank down on these to, you know, to get it to come out. Especially, especially when I want it to blend, you know. Okay. So that is the moral of the story. If you're going to have somebody do your math mystery, make sure that they have a similar coloring style as you because otherwise you're going to get caught. You're going to get caught. You really will. You will get caught. <laughs> okay. I think these are all, I think these are all flowers, I think. I'm going to grab, I, I just, I feel like I just need more contrast, you know, I feel like I need some more contrast here. Um, okay, let's, let's just try this. So, those are some of the goofy things that's happened to me in the past. Oop, try to keep my head out of the way. Sorry, guys. So, tell me, like, any goofy stories that you guys have encountered. Like, any anything that you kind of think is goofy now or anything that just, like, totally broke your heart, like, way back when and that you kind of felt, you know, why was I so upset at that time? You know, why did I get so upset over that? Um... Because I really was. I was so upset over that Olympic day. <laughs> and I actually hadn't thought about that in years. I don't know. Oh, you know, I, and I probably thought of it because, I mean, I hadn't thought about it in years, but I probably thought of it at that time because, like I said, I was telling Stephanie that, you know, there were times I just felt like such a freak. I really did. And I feel like a freak now because I went over the line. Ah, I went over the line. I went over the line. All right. Take our little Derwent eraser. And let us just fix it. Let us just fix it. Okay. So, yeah, I think I think this is giving us a, a bit more contrast here. I should just kind of maybe do some of these smaller bits and bobs. Like I said, I was going to do some of the smaller stuff off camera. And I probably will, but some of it... It's kind of just right here anyway. Then I'm just going to try to get to it anyhow. Because I really want this contrast over here on these petals. I really do. I want this contrast so that we can have a nice blend and stuff to it. Sometimes, like, even though, and I, I really need to swatch out these Crayolas. I really do. Because sometimes, like, they may look different. Like, they may look totally different, like, on the pencil. But... When you start coloring with them, then, you know, sometimes they're pretty similar. So you, I kind of feel like I needed to swatch these out and I, and I will, I'll, I'll eventually swatch them out, but I just kind of felt like these needed to be swatched out. So, um, what's everybody been up to today? Um, me, I've been, I was just, you know, been watching a couple of videos, um, Man, I'll tell you what, like, last night, oh my gosh, and yesterday, I mean, I felt just totally dead yesterday because sometimes I get insomnia, and I get where, um, I get where I just, I can't sleep, and so I, um, that was me, like, last night, um, the night before, and I woke up, and I just, I could not sleep. I just, I couldn't sleep. And so I was up like half the night on um, Tuesday night. And it caught up with me yesterday. <laughs> it really did. It caught up with me yesterday because um, I took a nap yesterday after John left for work. Took a nap. And then uh, I was kind of okay, but I still kind of felt like just blah. Because like usually like when this insomnia hits and I can't go to sleep, like I am so dead the next day. And so I, I, um, I just felt so dead 
And then last night, you know, after we got done with dinner, I made spaghetti last night. So we got done with dinner and then I was just so dead. I went to bed after that and just crashed, just crashed. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, I turned on a, I've been watching a lot of Sims videos because there's a new expansion pack coming out for Sims 4 and they've really been hyping it up. It's called Seasons, which means that we get weather in the Sims game now. And so they've really been hyping up this pack because a lot of people have been really, really looking forward to it. And so uh, I've, I've been watching a lot of that to kind of try to get the lay of the land because there's people that get like early access to it and stuff. And uh, so I've been watching like a lot of their stuff, you know, to, to try to get, uh, you know, to try to uh, see what that was going to be like. And uh, so, um, but I turned on this one video and got maybe all of five minutes into it. And then it was, it was like lights out. It was, it was gone. It's like, that's all she wrote. It was just that fast. So, um, And usually, like, John will fall asleep on the couch at night, like, after dinner. Like, he'll kind of start reading and then fall asleep on the couch. And me, I just kind of go on the bed and I'll watch a movie or YouTube or something. And, uh, uh, and then, um, and then fall asleep. Well, then he gets up and comes to bed. But, I mean, like, I heard him come to bed last night, but, and then I just, I conked out again. Like, I, I was, like, gone, you know. And then, like, I didn't, I didn't even hear him get up this morning. Um, I didn't even hear him get up this morning. And then I think the next thing I heard was like, he was in the bathroom and I was just, uh, you know, conked out <laughs> and, uh, I still felt kind of tired. It's like, Oh man. So man, I, I guess I needed that extra sleep because I was, man, I was just out of it. So anyway, um, I got up and we had our espresso before he left. Um, he, um, he's officially retired. Like he doesn't, like John's officially retired, but, um, he kind of goes in like on a part-time sort of basis and helps out a locksmith. Like he, you know, he works at a locksmith place and, um, it's not full-time or anything. It's just something that kind of keeps him, you know, for something to do. You know, he doesn't really need to, but he wants to. And that's fine because, you know, keeps him active and kind of keeps him out of my hair sometimes. <laughs> and, and uh, you know, it, it gives him something to do rather than just kind of sit around here and, and figure, you know, figure out what to do. But um, he, uh, so he does that on kind of like a part-time sort of basis there. Um, so anyway, he... Uh, he got up to get ready for work and like I didn't even hear him get out of bed. I didn't even hear him in the bathroom until he was like almost done. Um, so then by the time we got up to have our espresso, I was still feeling just a little, eh, you know, just wanting to just go back to sleep. Like I was just like dead to the world. Like just, oh, just let me sleep, please. And so... Anyway, we got up and had our espresso and then, and then by, you know, by the time we were done, like I was wide awake then, you know, I was wide awake then. And so I, I watched a little bit of color tube. I watched, um, I watched one of Kate's videos and I watched, uh, I need to watch, uh, the, um, the bibliophile colors video. Um, actually there's, I think a couple of them that I need to catch up on, like his color and chat or something. And then, um. He got some happy mail, so I need to look at that. Um, but I was I was watching, um, you know, because several of several folks have done my tag, and so I was watching that. Um, what else? And then I came in here to to film this video, so we're just we're kind of doing our own color and chatting and stuff on this video here. So yeah. Um, and tonight we have to go to the Apple store. We have to leave as soon as John gets home. We're going to the Apple store tonight. Um, and then I kind of have to watch out for the front door here because we're expecting, 
um, he got a he got a really good deal from Apple, and um, so we're getting a new uh, MacBook. We're getting a new MacBook Pro. Um, which is good. Like he found this on on clearance, like on the on their site. He found this on clearance, and uh, and uh, it was at a good price. And he, you know, he found this really good deal. So he um, he took advantage of that, and which is a good thing because like um, our laptops that we have, they are so old. They're like dinosaurs. They are so old. <laughs> I have an old Windows computer that's like. I think I got that like six months before I got Caleb, so you know that that thing's been around a while. I got that thing in like an 08, and that's still on Windows XP. Like it won't it won't go up to Windows 7 or anything. It's just too obsolete for that. You know, there's there's not enough umph in there to do it. Um, and and then John has this old. Actually, he's got two MacBooks. One of them is like super old that he got like back in 07 and it's really obsolete like it won't even it won't even update anymore to any kind of to any kind of um uh op, you know operating system like it it's it's uh it's kind of stuck in time i think it's still on like a uh, snow leopard or something so it won't upgrade anymore that one and I was gonna mess with that but it's kind of in the same boat as my Windows laptop I mean it's just so old that it's really slow and tired and it really can't do a whole lot it'd be good enough like for maybe email and browsing some of the sites and stuff but you couldn't do anything like real heavy on it at all um, so he um, <clears throat> he found this deal for, for a new MacBook Pro. And so I think he's going to get that one because that was like a 13-inch screen. And there's I don't think there's any way that I'd be able to see that thing. No freaking way. Too tiny. Too small. <laughs> so um, I said, nope, too tiny, too small. So he I think he's going to end up with, the, with that one. And then um, I will take over his... Uh, 15 inch one that he got like back in uh, 2012 or 2013 something like that it's still kind of old but one thing with the Mac is uh, I <laughs> it's I, it's funny because I, I kind of called it the cast off <laughs> you know I'm, I'm getting his old cast off but um, actually one thing about a Mac is um, you really don't need to upgrade every you know every other year or anything not like you used to do with like Windows computers because um, it kind of holds its own like now my desktop I got that thing like in late 2011 and it um, it is it is still holding it very very nicely and so um, one thing about these Macs is you really don't you really don't need to upgrade every two years or anything because it will hold its own like it'll it'll last a long time and still be able to work and uh, it's kind of gently used because like he um, like he never fired it up very much because he always loved his iPad and so for what he does like most of the stuff that he did like he could just use his iPad and so he um, didn't really fire up the computer as much as he thought he might so so I'm gonna take that one over and like I can do video editing on there and all kinds of stuff I took my old Windows laptop to leader dog like when I went to go get Alex now uh, for those of you that are new around here um, because I am visually impaired um, I work with a guide dog and so and I have for I, I have since like 1992 and Alex um, my current one um, has I have two golden retrievers and um, my old guy his name is Caleb now he was my guide dog first or he's my third one. My first two have died. Like I had Charlie from like 92 to 99 and he has since passed away. And then I got Abby in 99 and um, she retired in like 08. 
and then lived for about another year and a half and died in 2010 from breast cancer, or breast cancer, from lung cancer. And then Caleb I got in 08, and he retired last year in 2017. So then I went back to Leader Dog in September 2017, came home in October 2017, and came home with Mr. Alexander Graham Bell. <laughs> that's, that's, that is his full name. We call him Alex for short. But, um, so, he is my fourth one, and so, um, he's my current one, and Caleb is my, my retired guy. So we have those two. We have Alex and Caleb. And so, um, what was I saying? Holy crap, what was I saying? Um, so yeah, um, this... That computer has been around since, like, six months before I got Caleb. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yes. Um. What am I, what am I going to say next? Um, I was going to say something about Alex, but I, for, I forgot what I was going to say. Um, oh my gosh. Well, anyway, here's our flowers, and we got, we got a little bit of shading in there. I think I might put a little bit more layers and stuff in there. But here's what we got so far with them. So I think I'm going to come back and probably work on them a little bit later on. Maybe get some other colors or something and, and do something with them, but... I'm going to come back and maybe do a little bit more on, on this, but um, I want to take a little break from that, and I want to um, grab some colors and kind of show you how I do hair, because I think that would be good, and then this is probably a good time to, to end after we do the hair. So just give me a second, and I will be right back. All right, so we're going to try to focus on this hair, and what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to add a few colors in here that I think may look good. I'm going to kind of just try to turn the book a little bit so that I can sort of see what I am doing. Uh, let me see how to how to go about this. Um, okay, so I'm going to turn this just a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. You know, just kind of off to the side just a little bit. Um, now what, what we're going to try to do is where you kind of see some of the darker lines, I'm going to kind of use that as my guideline for my shading. And so what I tend to do with hair, and let me just hopefully make sure my head's out of the way, is um, I'll just try to take and just sort of do like these, these flicking motions um, on this hair. And I try to go in the direction of where the hair is going to grow, okay? And for the darker parts, I'm just kind of pushing down on it a little bit. We're going to choose um, some other colors as well and then just try to you know, try to try to get it to blend in, you know, uh, the way it should. And I'm just, I'm going with um, where the hair kind of grows a little bit and just flicking. I'm just sort of flicking in, in these in these motions. And by doing this, um, to me, it kind of gives you some, some texture. And again, like you can kind of see where it's curved right there. I'm just trying to go in the direction of where where the hair itself is going. You know, can you can you guys kind of see that? Okay, so I'm taking, let's see, like I said, I'm just, I'm taking um, and putting the, the dark parts in where, uh, where I think the, the, the low lights are going to go or where maybe the, the shadows and stuff are going to go because we're going to take other colors and just kind of blend it together. Okay, and again, I'm just kind of going where the, where the, where the curves are. Okay. Now I'm going to take another color and just uh, a lighter color and then just kind of go around this way, you know, where we see it kind of curving and I will blend, I'm going to blend that in with that darker part right there. And hopefully we're going to get that color variation that we're, that we're kind of after. Uh, let's try it right here. Just kind of blend it into that that darker color right there. And I'm just I'm trying to make her a redhead. 
and if you need to you can add more layers and touch up that darker part and make it even darker but I'm just flicking in the direction of where this hair seems to be growing you don't have to do it this way but this is how I sometimes will do it okay sorry about that guys had to had to go take care of something but anyway um, so I was taking just some of the that darker color and just kind of putting it you know where I think the like the darker areas would be um, and then I'm going to take this lighter one I have kind of a lighter color and we're just going to try to if I can get this book turned around the right way here um, we're going to try to just sort of blend it together and I'm just going to kind of go in just real lightly you know and because we can add a couple of other different shades here too just to kind of give it a little bit more contrast and then just as it gets longer just kind of bring it out just a little bit lighter and then just blend it together like so you guys see that but you can just kind of flick in the direction of the way that the the hair is growing and then if you need to be a little bit more precise just really kind of you can make like smaller strokes so that you don't so that you can kind of prevent yourself from going out of the lines but if the hair is kind of longer you can you can do longer strokes to kind of get you know the texture you need for the longer hair if it's shorter you can um, you can make shorter strokes or if you need to kind of get into some persnickety areas right there but as we can see it's kind of you know it's it's blending in pretty nicely I'm gonna take this pencil here and just kind of blend out some of that and I just sometimes I'll just kind of scrub over it just to kind of get it to blend together but for hair I just I normally just try to flick you know just flick flick the pencil and you see how it's blending together you see that and you see how as we go down it's getting lighter you see that and we can do the same thing here and I'm just going to go in just sort of real light with this I'm not pressing down on this at all and I do have a couple of other colors that we can put in there for um, definition purposes too but you kind of see how this sort of blends together like so and we get our differing we get like our differing shades of, of this hair and the way the hair is drawn in different books kind of depends on how you may want to color it too it all just kind of depends on the way that the hair is drawn as well and I'm going to turn the book just a little bit so that I can get around here because again I kind of want to go into the direction of where the hair is growing now as we can see it's getting a little bit longer down here so if we want to we could actually take even another shade and just kind of go just real light like over this you know just real light because you don't need unless you want your hair to look that way you don't need um, a shocking difference unless of course you're going for a certain look and then you you know I mean color it the way you want to but you know for definition purposes you might just need you know two or three different you know maybe three different shades and try to find some you know you want to find something that complements each other you know that's going to look nice together so that you don't get the more choppy look unless it's something that you're going for But as we can see, this is how it is looking, and I think it's I think it's going to be kind of cute. Like I said, I don't think I'm good enough to really call what I do tutorials, but I'm just showing you how I go about it sometimes. Okay, and then you can do the same thing over here on this side. Just I'm just going to do some real light touches right here okay and then as you can see where it kind of bends down over here 
you can go back to your darker color and you see where it kind of creases right there you can you might be able to go back with your darker color and give it that shadow where the hair is going to bend up a little bit maybe even up here just a tad and then you can go back over it with your lighter color and hopefully you guys are going to be able to see this that my head isn't in the way too much I never know until I go back to edit my footage and then I and then look and see again right here you can put in that darker color and then go back in with with a lighter color and fill it back in and then just kind of go over it just to blend it like so and you can do this in however many layers you want to okay I think I'm going to bring this down over here you can do this in however many layers you want to remember to flick because when you do then you get that consistent texture okay and this piece is kind of going around like this so you want to follow the direction of where the hair is actually going there and I'm going to get in kind of close to kind of get that small piece right there okay okay so here is how our hair is looking and there's a piece right there we're going to grab this right here and color that part in but I think you kind of get the idea a little bit Pick out whatever shade you want to that you think may look good together and then just kind of flick in the direction of where the hair is growing and doing that it will blend in very very nicely together you get a you get a really nice look with that So yeah, going back to this computer, like I said, we're getting, we, we are expecting that in today. And so uh, once we do, then, you know, John will have to transfer the stuff that he wants onto the new, onto the new one. And then I'll take over the one, that other one. But yeah, like I said, with, with Max, you really don't need to, uh, you really don't need to upgrade as often as what you used to. Sometimes these circular ones are a little bit tougher. But I think you guys get the general idea. So I think that I'm going to probably finish some of this up off camera. I want to get some of the smaller pieces and stuff done like off camera because it's getting a little bit... Uh, some of this gets a little small and I don't want to have it where all you see is my head so I'm probably going to just kind of go off camera a little bit and and work on this some more and I'll either come back in a part two and just maybe put some finishing touches on it or something or um, you know I might come back in part two and finish up the flowers but I'll pro probably finish up the hair off camera do some of the smaller pieces and stuff off camera maybe i'll do the skin tone on camera with you guys and stuff so um i think there will be a part two there's just some things that i want to do off camera and if there's not then i'll come back and show you what i do have um if i do happen to finish it up off camera all the way i'll come back and show you what it looks like off camera or I'll if i finish it up off camera all the way then i'll come back and show you the finished piece in um in my next video but if there's a part two for this 
we'll probably work on like the skin tone and the rest of the flowers and stuff so but anyway that's kind of a an idea of how i do hair um, i will make another demo of that in on another picture so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video again hi to my new goldies so you all have a great day don't forget to comment and hit that like button um and if you have not subscribed already do so and better yet hit the bell so you are notified when i do upload new videos and hit that like button leave a comment tell me what you think i think i said that already <laughs> um and while you are subscribing hit that bell so you are notified when new videos are uploaded and you all have a great day and we will see you in the next video okay Bye, my little goldies.